Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Would you believe, this is about the weather, <laughs> first, my husband shakes his head, I know. Well, we went down, what they say, 10 degrees from what we were, so it's actually chilly. I put long pants on, long sle longer sleeve shirt, and I didn't put my sweater on today, but it was chilly. I want to show you, because yesterday I showed you ripping out my basket. Well, today I have my basket. And um, I'm going to make it so it goes right on it. Pam from Adoring Crochet. I looked up your name. <laughs> she wanted to see it up close because there are little knobbies on it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the little knobbies. And this is, it's got different colors in it. It's got greens and it's got burnt orange and burnt red and brownish. But it's, it's, it's different colors of the browns even. But she, she made it for her washcloths. I put my washcloths in and then she put a little lotion in there. So I thought, well, I'll put a little lotion in mine. But it turned out really nice. I like the bottom on this one. This one, the bottom turned out right. The other one, I wasn't happy with it. And I don't know how to put it in Facebook. I looked at that site and I don't find anything, so I, I don't know how to do it. So, Pamela, I guess it's not going in. But anyways, it's beautiful. I love it. I think it's the cutest. And it only took me about maybe 45 minutes to an hour to make. You want to take that? And also, I had a request from Jane Patrick. Hi, Jane. How's everything with you? I hope it's good. She made a request because she would like us to do a little tag that involves Jim. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. <clears throat> so I, I looked up some questions, and um, some of them are for us both to answer, and some of them are just whoever wants to answer them can answer them, I guess. Do you want to ask them, or you want me to ask them? I can ask him. You too. ask him. There you go. I'll let him ask him and then it'll be a surprise. <laughs> okay. Would you rather play a board game or watch a movie with me? I'd rather watch a movie with you. What would you rather do? Watch a movie. Uh, would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great-great-grandchildren? That's a hard one. But you know what? Because we're a team. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You go into the past and meet the great-grands, and I'll go into the future and meet the grandkids. Then we'll meet, and you can tell me what you learned, and I'll tell you what I learned. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, would you rather spend the next year exempt from all taxes or have one month paid vacation? I'd rather be exempt from taxes because vaca I'm on vacation already. I would taxes, too. Taxes, too. Yeah. Would you rather always speak your mind or never speak again? <laughs> I think I'd have to speak my mind because I, I could never stay quiet. What about you? I would speak my mind. You'd speak your mind. Even though I don't speak a lot, but I you would, would speak, speak your mind. My mind. Would you rather put a stop to war or end world hunger? Oh, that one I don't know. I would rather probably stop the war. I would probably stop the war. I don't war, want to so. kill anybody. And I don't want anybody killed. But you have at least a chance if you have life. I think you could do them both. Because if you stop the war, then you would have all that money that they put into war efforts that could go into feeding hungry people. That's true. We could do that. So that's good. We'll stop the war. Would you rather give or get? bad advice. I think I'd rather get bad advice only because I don't have to take it. Right? I don't right. want to give bad advice and let people steer, steer them wrong. <laughs> that would be sad. Then they'd be mad at me. I agree. Would you rather be gossiped about or never talked about? I'd rather people gossip about me. Go ahead and gossip about me. At least I'm in your mind and you're thinking about me. Mm, if they don't talk about you, it's like you're invisible. I don't like being invisible. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to be invisible. Uh, would you rather fail or never try? I'd rather fail. As you could see, I failed on my crocheting and then I try to make it better. So I'd rather fail. You too? 
I had to learn more by failing and, and learning from that failure than not trying. Would you rather work in a group or work alone? I'd rather be by myself. I don't want to have to deal with other people. Because, you know, if you have other people in there, you probably would never get anything done because it's like, no, I don't like your idea. No, let's do my idea. And that's no, no, no. I'd rather do it all by myself. Me too. I work much better alone. Other than when you're... <laughs> you work well with me. I work well with you. Would you rather be stuck on an island alone or with someone who talks incessantly? Oh, gosh. I would rather be by myself. I remember telling Emily, to, could you just be quiet for just a minute? <laughs> so that would drive you crazy to have somebody talking. What about you? I would rather be alone. Uh, would you rather have a cook or a maid? I want a maid. I don't care if we cook or not. Yeah, I'd rather maid. I'd, what little bit we cook, I'd, I'd cook myself. Uh, would you rather hear the good news or the bad news first? I think I'd rather hear bad news first and then, then the good news. so that You always have something to look forward to. Uh, would you rather stay in or go out for a date night? <laughs> we don't even have a date <laughs> night. Um, We used to stay in. For our date nights, we used to have um, pizza. We used to bring it up. We used to order it from caves. You'd go get it, because I wouldn't go get it. I wouldn't um, go get it. And we would bring it up to our bedroom, and the, and Jessica used to think that we had, we used to send them to bed, and she used to think that we got out the party horses and were having a hallabaloo, but there was no noise. I, she was in her imagination. That That's why she had to go to bed. We just wanted to have our little time of quiet together. I guess we stay in for, yeah. we don't go out. We don't go out. If I let you dress me, what would I wear on our next date? Well, if I had to dress you, I don't know. Uh, but you should, you, uh, that's not my question. <laughs> <laughs> what would you put me in? A uh, very nice looking short dress. Um, uh, with stockings, I hope, because yeah. I don't have pretty legs. <laughs> I think they're pretty, but I, don't I know you would rather. Yeah, stockings. I don't. I don't go bare legged. A lot of girls will go bare legged. I even buy pantyhose that has for the sandal look, so that if you did have a shoe that had the toe open, at least it looks like you're still. But your legs look a lot prettier with the stockings on than they do without. I. Think. If you could be on any reality TV show, which one would it be? I'd probably be on The Amazing Race. Yeah, me too. I, I want, but in a, in the United States only. I don't want to travel to Europe. I can't speak the language, and and I would rather it was just in the United States. I'd like to be on that only because you're competing. Basically, you're competing against yourself. You're not really. You are running against other people time wise, but. It's your abilities that you're dependent upon, not somebody else. Would you rather endure childbirth or wear high heels for an entire day? Oh, I could wear high heels an entire day. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? <laughs> I don't know about either one because I've never, I don't know what childbirth is like and I don't think I'd like high heels. So. Okay. If you woke up tomorrow as the opposite sex, what would be the top three things you do? Well, I'd have to get a new wardrobe, first of all. I'd probably check out the works, and I'd get a haircut. What would you do <laughs> if you mm, woke up as a girl? I'd have to get, definitely I'd have to have a new wardrobe of some sort. Yeah. And uh, try to figure out how to do hair. <laughs> and probably check out the works. <laughs> Would you rather I be completely hairless or as hairy as a gorilla? <laughs> I like hairless. <laughs> How about me? <laughs> you hairless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, you mean you don't like the European look with the hairy legs and the hairy pits? <laughs> it does not bother me, but no, not really. I don't want that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... What do you most look forward to as you grow old? Being able to just say whatever I want to say, I guess. <laughs> and nobody to say it. I can't say it. And then if I did say something that I shouldn't have said, I said, oh, it must be it because I'm old. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Or what do people overestimate or underestimate about you? 
You put the wrong word in there. Did I? Oh. Yeah, you put so instead of do. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> that threw me off. What do people estimate under or underestimate about me? Well, the thing is, people think that I'm a very social person. I'm not a social person at all. I'm very, really, if you were to meet me in person, I would probably be very quiet for a little while till I got to feel out the situation. But when I go camping and I'm in a whole nother area, I am kind of social. <laughs> so I'm kind of both ways. But if you don't know me, you think I'm pretty brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Same thing or no? Yeah, pretty much the same thing. I think everybody thinks you're smart. It's just it's very quiet. No, I think they overestimate how smart I am. <laughs> you, no. What did you learn a little too late? To to appreciate my looks when I was younger, because I look, you know, I used to always think I was uglier than sin, because all these other girls are so pretty. <laughs> but when I see the videos of me, I go, man, I wasn't too bad. <laughs> Why do you think I was attracted to you? Because you were good looking. You still are. I don't know. The, the, I, when I look back when I'm 90 at 68, I will say, oh, she was pretty good looking. Too bad I didn't appreciate it when I had it. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Is, there's a next page. You're that's taking a, too long with your question. That's the second page. That was the second page? Yeah, that was, that was both the of second them? page. Oh, wow. I was thinking you were Pokey Annie. <laughs> I guess you weren't nope, Pokey we, Annie. We're, we got it done. Okay, good. Because I'm going to tag people, but I wrote your names down only because these are people that I've actually know your husbands have or your significant others or your lady, whatever. I don't know. You're a couple. Have Now... I've heard. Do they more. have to do this? No, they don't have to do this. But I, you know, if they want to do it, they can do it. And the people that I wrote down, oh gosh, there's seven of you. This is really, really okay. I wrote down real life with Michelle and Rob, and that's Michelle and Rob. <laughs> I wrote Granny B, and that's Granny B and Papa Bruce. I think she would do a good job with it, too. I think they all would actually, mm -hmm. but Granny B. Granny B. Did you know Granny B.'s name sounds a lot like my mother's name, but it's not the same. <laughs> mm, yeah. She reminds me of my mama. Okay, um, Fluffy No Mo, Laurie and John, Gray Wolf Fitness, Craig and Sue. I'd love to hear what Sue's got to say with Craig. Craig is off the wall sometimes, but it's so funny because she comes and she tells him, calm down, he's yelling because <laughs> he gets excited. He must be Sicilian in a way because people think I'm yelling when I'm not yelling and it's all just because it's excitement. Okay, Take control, beauty. That's Barb and Denny. Leedy MC. That would be Leedy and Bill. And Motorcycle Mama. That would be Jackie and Charles. If you would like, I would like it. If you would like, I'm going to put the questions in the thing below, and I will correct the one that I'm I did wrong. The, uh, the second page. Well, fix it for me. So when I do it, I'll notice that I did it wrong. I'll put them in there so that you can do it. And I hope you enjoyed this little crazy back and forth um, that we did. I guess that was it. Was that everything that I said at Pamela's Adoring Crochet? Mm -hmm. I said it right. And Jane Patrick was the one that requested this kind of a tag. I think we did it a little different than what she was thinking, but that's because that's what I did. I tried my best with what I find. So mm -hmm. I hope you all had a great night, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So bye-bye. Thank you.